All right, howdy folks, Edge here. I'm going to do a upgrade to 2.04 from 2.00 of TNT Lite by Robeat on xda-developers.com. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the Clockwork mod to uh, find the update.zip. So we're going to do install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Uh, I put it right there in the root, so we'll just choose that one. We're gonna. It says confirm install. This cannot be undone. This cannot be undone. <laughs> so ominous. We're gonna say yes, install. So there we go. TNT Lite 2.0.4 supplement. Adding the supplemental changes. As you can see with the bar there, it's installing. So using Clockwork Mod is really easy this way. Um, it says there you go. Install from SD card complete. So now we can select back using the back arrow. It's uh, the top choice. Now it says reboot system now, which we will do. Boom. And now we're rebooting. So here we go. Into 2.0.4. Or 2.04. I don't know. I'll have to look. It's late. I want to thank everybody who's leaving awesome comments on these videos I'm making. I really do appreciate it. It's a lot of fun. I really love the G-Tab. It's um, an amazing device. And the XDA developer community has really just made this, uh, made this device phenomenal. I bought one for my wife a few weeks ago. She really wanted an Android tablet. And so I got it for her. And... As soon as I brought it home, I realized, yeah, it's, you know, it's pretty cool, but I wonder if there's anything better out there for it. So I went on to XDA Developers, and uh, already people were creating ROMs uh, for it, and I immediately began putting on some custom stuff for hers. I'm not even joking. After I put on the very first uh, TNT Lite, I immediately went out and found myself one of the returns at a Sears and got my tablet because I, I had to have my own this thing is just too awesome it's definitely filled a niche that i didn't know existed which is you know while i'm sitting watching uh, college football or or while i was watching a nascar race or while i'm just hanging out in the living room you know watching tv or or doing something it's it's nice to have the internet there to keep up with things i mean you know i never thought that i'd like to multitask that way but it really is pretty awesome especially with like sports, you know, watching something and um, it's really neat to have stats and stuff at your fingertips in, a, in such an intuitive way while you're watching a game. And then, of course, you know, you're, you're reading the Facebook or, uh, and Twitter feeds of your friends who are watching the same game and it's, it's just a blast. I really enjoy having a, uh, having a tablet and TNT Lite and or Clockwork Mod, uh, I've tried, uh, and Z-Pad, I've tried all three. Any one of those three is just phenomenal. My personal favorite is TNT Lite, which we're at right here. Um, I want to go ahead real quickly and, well, I'll let it settle for a moment because that's the one thing that I will say that um, the iPad is better at than the, than the G-Tab, which is right away. I mean, when you turn on an iPad, that thing's ready to go. The Android 2.2 um, .2 is, uh, well, let's face it, it's made for telephones, and telephones take a while to initiate and start up and get everything going, and Android isn't an instant-on um, system in the same way that the iPad is. It's pretty darn close, though, so, you know, if you have a spare moment, you know, it's it's going to be good and ready to go. So, we're still really smooth on the scrolling here. Uh, pretty sweet. Uh, let's check. People say that, you know, it's very important to make sure that Angry Birds runs properly. So let's look at this real quickly. We'll make sure that Angry Birds runs properly. Let's turn the volume down that a bit. Oh, look at this. All my save games are here. So let's see. I'm on level 7. Level 7 has been giving me fits. Oh, that stunk. So yeah, smooth as glass. I can't complain. This is, uh... Oh my gosh, I really do stink at this game, don't I? Alright, let me get out of this. 
So Angry Birds works, and it's worked very smooth. The other, the other big test that uh, that we like, because it's so important for a tablet, sure, is YouTube. All right, let's look at carrot sticks. This is the same video I looked at before. It's really funny that it's... I bet you it's all these people who are testing their tablets who are keeping this video number one. So anyway, you can see this is super, super smooth. No no complaints there. Um, again, I'm going to go to Rocket Player. Oh, I'm sorry, Rock Player. What am I saying, Rocket Player? Um, let's play the same old Arrested Development I always play. So, very smooth. Going to another spot is instantaneous. Super awesome. Okay, and finally, the most important test, the one that everybody likes to measure their devices against, is quadrant standard. So now we're doing a full test, and let's see what score we get here. This is where I recommend you go forward about uh, a minute in this video if you're watching on YouTube because this part's kind of boring. We just wait. Right now it's doing its IO testing. It's already been done. The memory's already been done. And then it goes into the 2D and the 3D graphics. Now the, sc the score I got when I was on 2.00 was around 17... I think it was 1770 and then with the 2.00 with the uh, experimental Tegra drivers that Roby was able to put in there the highest I ever got on here was 2480 which is a very phenomenal score on Quadrant so we'll see here in just a moment what we're getting all right, uh, benchmark result. Let's take a look. 1897. I can live with that. That is that is super awesome. So 1897. Um, that's that's a great quadrant standard score. Wow. I am impressed. Very nice. Um, UI is still super slick. I mean, it's. It's really cool that, you know, it's so smooth that the glass is so smooth. Obviously, it's glass, right? But, I mean, when it moves that fluidly, you really get the sense that it's, you know, just super slick. And it's so fast. Um, I'm continuously blown away. Let's pull up calendar. Well, let me go in here and look at the month view. If I can get my finger to touch it. Hmm. Okay, there's the event. So how do I get... I'll have to look at this. So for whatever reason, I'm not able to get it to show me the month view. Now I know that Robeat had changed the calendar somehow. And this is all well and good that I have this kind of view here, but I like to see the week and the month view. It's important for me with work. So I'll mess with that later. Uh, well, maybe I have to go into here to look at it. Calendar. Nope. So whatever. I'll mess with that a little bit later, see how that works. Um, contacts is another one that I should probably take a look at. Yep, contacts are all there. Just like before. Pretty cool. And finally, oh, I did have a request from someone to look at the camera. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, you're going to have to see what I look like. Yeah, pretty scary. Uh, so, yeah, the camera looks like it works. Let's uh, take a picture. 
Oh my gosh, that's that's frightening. <laughs> Let's get the heck out of that. We don't want to see what I look like. So then if I go into gallery. Go into camera. And here's the picture I just took. So for whatever reason, I think the quality is turned down really low. It's very pixelated and bleh. Um, <laughs> I take very interesting pictures, I guess. All right, who wants to look at that? Not me. Anyway, so the verdict is 2.04 or 2.0.4. Um, I will look it up to see how exactly it is uh, done, but um, very nice. Very cool. So, uh, yeah, the music player. That's my favorite music player. Power amp. Pretty slick. I am going to try Winamp on here, though. I saw that Winamp uh, just released that ability to throw songs wirelessly from your desktop onto your, your phone or your tablet. So I'm definitely going to try that out as well. But anyway, 2.0.4 or 2.04, however it said. Really nice, really slick, really fast, and allegedly very stable, which is, of course, also very important. You know what? One last thing. I want to try something here. Um, I am going to connect, and this is just like a bonus. I'm going to use the USB port on the side here. I'm going to connect up a card reader with a, with a uh, standard SD card. I want to see if it'll work. I'm not expecting it to, I'll be honest. I'm expecting it to not work. But you know, I'm just an experimenting kind of guy. So I just connected that. Let's go here to uh, ES File Explorer. We'll go up. So there's the regular SD card. There's SD card 2, which is the micro SD card I put on there. And what should happen is I would expecting an SD card 3 or something else to show up there. Well, maybe USB disk. It says empty folder. That's interesting. Was USB disk there before? I think it was. So, let me disconnect this or take it out and see if it disappears. Holy smokes, it's in there. Teddy. <laughs> All right, that was a neat trick, wasn't it? And USB disk is still there, so obviously it had nothing to do with this thing. But, oh well, it was worth a try. Well, I'll go ahead and uh, cut this one uh, short then. I thank you for watching this video and sticking with it for the 13 minutes. I wonder if YouTube will let this go that long. Take care, everyone.